King Richard. What'd you think? The story, I, I knew the story to an extent. Okay. Uh, but just unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. I don't want to, like, talk the whole story through, but in short, if you don't know this, Richard Williams wrote a plan of how to create a professional tennis player and intentionally had two kids to fulfill that plan and those kids were Venus and Serena Williams. He did it. He fucking, he did, fucking it. did it. Um, and there's complexities to it. Was it about him? Was it about them? I, it was like the definition of like living vicariously through your kids. Uh, when the fact that they only really focused on Venus and then at the end of the movie, they just pop up on the screen. Oh, and guess what? Serena was pretty good too. Like, that's kind of how I remember it happening, though, at the time. Like, do you remember when they first came on the circuit? It was all, obviously, Venus was the older one. Yeah, I thought they were going to show them, like, actually end up playing together. And, like, I, I think the amazing thing about Serena is, like, and I think it's a testament to the, the plan because, um, again, I don't want to get into the whole script of the movie, but, like, uh, he didn't want him to play juniors because he didn't want him to burn out. Serena Williams peaks in her 30s. Like, no athlete ever in the history of sports mm. has peaked in their 30s. You know? I wonder if that's because that's all kind of played out to us in recent history. Like, everyone's a bit more aware of their story, like yeah. what, what's happened in their careers. But it's, I don't know, to me it was more so just telling us how they got there. Yeah, maybe. Like, pretty obvious because they were kids, but... um. Maybe then you, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just didn't, I, the, the ending really disappointed me. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of feel a little bit the same way. There was more of their professional careers to flesh out. Mm. Definitely. But th- there was lots in the movie that I didn't, didn't know that to go through. Like you always hear they grew up, you know, pretty Compton. Com- Compton. Like, yeah, obviously not an affluent background. I had to work pretty hard to get where they got, but the movie puts it all in perspective, <coughs> like all the adversities they had to face to get there. And by the way, John Bernthal, unbelievable. He's he's going to win an Oscar one day. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's he's man. really good in that. He's, he doesn't know how to take his own walk out of his characters. He does that, that walk with his head, like that meathead walk from The Punisher. He, he's doing that as a tennis coach. But like, <laughs> he was, I loved his character. I loved the, and I, I wanted him to be my coach. Like, how positive was he? Mm. Oh, so good. Anyway, I gave it, despite kind of shitting on it, I still gave it an A. 